You guys know how to 180 into a feature, you know how to 180 out of a feature. At this stage in your jibbing, it's about combining tricks together. Put a 180 in, 180 out, that's another trick. It's actually quite a common trick. The main difference is that when you 180 into a feature, you stop with counter rotation. When you're gonna continue it on, the rotation kind of flows more. So for example, this is a backside 180 in. I'm actually winding up a little bit for the backside 180 in, letting it flow around and 180ing back out, okay? Again, backside 180 in to a switch 50-50, letting it flow, coming back out. If I did it from the other direction, it would now be a front side 180 in. So watch this, front side 180 in, continue the rotation and coming out switch. So it kind of just flows throughout the trick. Um, you can do it hard way as well. So this is hard way front side 180 in, flow, 180 out. In some cases, I actually think it's easier to continue that rotation on and add a 180 off the end, okay? You wanna make it more tricky, lots of ways to do it. You can obviously chuck the top piece on, that will challenge your balance, but you can chuck presses into it too. Let's chuck in a nose press or a switch tail press. Back side 180 in, tail press, 180 up. Front side 180 in, 180 up. Let's chuck this on, let's make it tricky. Hard way, hard way 180 in. Boom. You see my board kind of slipped through it a little bit there, that's okay. You can do that on a snowboard too. Back side 180 in. Boom. You can see the rotation kind of takes you around. But um, yeah, be playful, try it out. Chuck the top piece on, this thing is critical. This is where you really get your good balance from. This is Nev Lapper from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your writing.